Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sincere, uh, you sincere Akimah that is pushing this 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity, this is your brother Ashman of Great Millstone, Mammy Kemp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. A little one in this lesson is edifying. There's going to be some words on the times that we're in. And the time that we're in is the end. Okay? The time that we're in is the end. This is the end. If we are being totally honest with ourselves and when I say we I'm speaking as a hopeful elect and we read the scriptures we read the, the prophecies like uh, what's uh, Jeremiah 50 Jeremiah 51 2nd Edges 15 2nd Edges 16 uh, Habakkuk 2 what's uh, um, Isaiah uh, what's that no, Jeremiah 49 Ezekiel 37 38 you know and the list goes on and on Isaiah 14 Isaiah 13 Daniel 12 Daniel uh, uh, Daniel 2 this thing this thing is real okay so we see what's going on with Israel right now. They, 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 the gloves are off between them and Iran, which that's going to lead to World War Three, according to Ezekiel the thirty-seven chapter, and also, what's that Jeremiah forty-nine, at least to the flock, meaning. You know, Israel is going to be the one lead America. To, it's going to, it's going to be the one ultimately get America destroyed. But um, also, what's going on with this port strike? Which I believe, you know, of course, these these union workers, of course, you know, we're all underpaid. Everybody's underpaid. If you if you work a job and you work a nine to five and you have a boss, you gotta you're you're an employee, you're underpaid. But as uh the old saying goes, never let a good crisis go to waste. So Esau is definitely playing off this situation. So we're getting ready to see that. Lord willing, it's not going to back down because basically they want something that they don't strike for something that the, the port is not going to give them, not going <laughs> to compromise because they want uh, basically a concrete employment. Basically, you 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 have a contract with, you, that they will never fire you or, or replace you with a robot, basically. And... Esau ain't signing that shit. <laughs> so, hey, either they're going to fold or let's see. Basically, they, Esau not going to sign it. So, it's basically, we're going to see how long they, they can hold on for. And, hey, we, they already been saying what, what's going to happen week by week. So, we're getting ready to see that. I got World War Three, and and you got the elections, and what? Less than a month? No, in about a month and a couple days, you got these damn devils celebrating the New Year on the third, in a in a you know couple days. How the hell? Which I wanted to do a video on that. Just remember. How you celebrating the new year in, in the spring, I mean in the fall, when when what they call the Torah, which is the Tawarah, 
which means the law or law tells you that the new year begins in the spring. And and they know that. Showing you they the damn devil. But anyways, from, from that day, it's 33 days left till the uh, not the inauguration but the uh, the election date so we're getting ready to see some some shit man it's everything is coming together and we see what the lord is doing out here if if we being honest we can see there, this is the end there's no going back the dollar is already on its on its last toe and and this shit is about to uh this poor strike shit could really put it put it down for good. This could be the start of it. So this is uh Ezekiel chapter seven and one. Moreover the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus saith the Lord power unto the land of Israel. An end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. And my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Okay, so the Lord is getting ready to judge our people. Okay, that's why the scriptures refer to it as Jacob's trouble. That's what it says in the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter and the 7th verse. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. What uh, Peter said... Judgment must begin at the house of, of the Most High. Oh, and in a couple chapters after this, in Ezekiel nine, it says, "When the Lord, when the Lord told the angels to go and smite our people, to begin at the ancient men that were before the house." So the Lord's going to start with Israelites that know they're Israelites. So that's another thing too. We getting ready to see a lot of Israelites get getting jacked up. Jake didn't know the Israelites has been teaching false doctrine has been saying all type of bugged out shit over the years we get ready to see and, and you know that's why we pray and that's why we fear the Lord the Lord we don't get caught up in, in none of that but we know what we teach is is pure our doctrine is pure so that we have and that's what we that's what we have faith in that's what we believe in okay so uh going on ezekiel 7 and 5 thus saith the lord power and evil and only evil is come so like okay, and evil and only evil behold is come and end is come the end is come it watcheth for thee Behold, it is come. You see that? So, the Lord is <laughs> is being being funny with it, but you know, cause he he's about that's you know how Jake. You have a parent, you get in trouble, and your parents beating your ass, and they they cursing they cursing you out with it. Especially if you if you if you're a Levite, if you Levite, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And they and they they <laughs> they getting into it and, and and making you feel shitty, cursing you out, making you feel stupid. That's why the Lord said He will. He's gonna laugh at their calamity. Okay, uh, verse seven. The morning is come unto thee. O thou that dwellest in the land, the time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. 
So that time has come, that day has come. It watches for thee. So it's waiting for you. This thing, this is the ass whooping that's, that's been coming. Been building up for, for generations. Verse 8, now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. So all this, this alphabet mob stuff that our people were into. It's this simp shit. It's, you know, our, our men worshiping the so-called black woman and not taking they, they nuts back. Everything outside of this truth, our people is it have t have turned into abomination. If it wasn't an abomination, they just they just make abominations out of shit. <laughs> That's why scriptures talk about our people making a broth of abominable things. Which of course the, uh, they do that physically, and they make these damn shrimp boils and shit. But Jake, uh, what's the scripture say? Uh, thou has even taught the wicked ones thy ways. So Jake, Jake is off. So you know that's pretty much it. That's something I just wanted to, to push out. Cause the Lord is is we clearly at the end. We clearly see it. This is, it's it's not. It can't. It's no turning around after this. At, at this point, something's getting ready to pop. What the hell? Hillary Clinton said. <laughs> Hillary Clinton said expect a black swan event before the election. And we know how demonic, and and connected, well, demonically connected she is. That which is. So it's time for us to, to push harder, be on point, you know, talking to myself first. This is not time to get comfortable. It's not time to get lax. It's time to, you know, get get right in the spirit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I know I said that. So with that, I'm going to say shalom.